I came across the idea of making a small, self-sustaining ecosystem several years ago, and I thought it wasn't possible. No water changes, no maintenance, just nature doing its thing. Nowadays, I make these ecospheres all over the place. Today, I'm in Cotter, Arkansas. Cotter is the trout capital of America. People come from all over to fish in this river. When making an ecosphere, I always start by collecting sediment. This sediment is full of life and the necessary bacteria to start off the ecosphere. I have never seen so many aquatic plants in one place. The only thing I'll be adding is plants. Aquatic plants and algae serve as the primary producers inside the ecosphere. Aquatic plants also absorb excess nutrients and release oxygen. These are essential elements in supporting life. If you're enjoying this project, be sure to subscribe. We post new videos just like this one every week on Jar Planet. Once I'm happy with the amount of plants, I'll fill the jar with water and seal it up. When I got back to the cabin, I noticed the plants needed some rearranging, so I put all of them back into the substrate. I don't normally open the jar after I've sealed it, but I wanted to make sure the ecosphere was set up for success. Later, while we were kayaking, I noticed this rock, and on this rock was this really cool clam. I thought he would be a great addition to our jar. This is a close-up of our clam. It's filtering through the water, looking for something to eat. My favorite thing in the jar has to be these snails. The camera doesn't capture how colorful they are. They are dark blue with a bright orange ring around their face. This is a type of insect larva. Several of these made it inside our jar. The jar is also home to many species of copepods. You can see them swimming in the back in almost every shot. This is called a hydra. In my opinion, it's terrifying. It uses its long tentacles to grab prey out of the water. Notice how the plants are growing in funny directions. This is because they're all fighting for light. It's been exactly 20 days since we sealed the jar and almost everything is still alive. This plant has grown over two inches out of the water. If you enjoyed this video, I know you'll like this one next.